Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Excel 2010 users. If you're using Excel 2007 or even Excel 2013 you'll probably find it just as useful. This time we'll be looking at charts again and we're looking at creating a pie chart. And as usual first thing I need to do is select my data so I'm going to select everything from A2 down to A9 in column A, the titles of my movies and all the rental values including the label of the column from C2 down to C9. Then I'm going to click on the Insert tab, come into the Chart section, and there's my Pie Chart option. Click the drop down there and just choose a 2D Pie Chart option. And you'll notice at the top of the screen, the menu area, that the Chart Tools appear, and we have three new tabs, Design, Layout, and Format. Now the first thing I'd like to do is move my chart to a new worksheet and previously in Excel 2003 that was part of the wizard. In Excel 2007, 2010 and 2013 it's built into the ribbon. So what you need to do is make sure that the design tab is selected on the chart tools section. Come across over to the right and you'll see move chart location. And on the dialog box I'm going to select new sheet. And I have the option of adding a title, and I'm just going to call it Movie Rentals. That is optional. Click OK, and immediately my chart moves to a new location, and it's on a sheet all by itself with the tab at the bottom labeled Movie Rentals. My data is still located on Sheet 1. If I click on that, we go back to the, the source data, and again click on my Movie Rentals tab to bring the chart back. Excel has applied some default colours to the pie chart and the first thing I'm going to do is actually just modify that a little bit and I'm going to use the chart style section here again on the design tab of the chart tools and if I click the arrow at the end there that'll open up all the choices I have I'm going to use one of these multicolour ones and I'm going to choose that 3D which happens to be style 26 click on that and you'll see that what happens is I get this 3D effect on my 2D pie chart Next I'm going to modify the legend box, and the legend of course is the thing that identifies what all the different slices mean. So we have colour keys here and the label of each category, the movie title. So here I'm just going to right click and I've got my font size button here, the increase font size. Just click on that and you'll see that the legend box increases and I get larger titles. And when I'm happy I can simply click away to deselect. Now something else I might want to do is highlight the performance of one of these movies and in fact I'd like to highlight the performance of Citizen Kane in some way but I want the slice to be over in the bottom left of the chart not where it currently is positioned. So we need to rotate that chart somehow and to do that I just click on the chart itself then right click and go to Format Data Series and in series options you'll see there are a couple of things here. One of them is pie explosion. I'm going to leave that for now. And the first one is angle of first slice and we have no rotation on the left and full rotation on the right. All I need to do here is just move my mouse pointer to the right of that line and keep clicking and you'll see the marker will travel across and if you have a look at the chart itself you'll see it's rotating clockwise until I get the slice just where I want it, a bit too far, I can move it back and that's fine. You can also modify in exact angle of degree by typing into this box here that currently is set to 100 but that's okay for me for now. I'm going to leave that and close that dialog. Just to remind you that as you click around the chart you will be selecting different things and one way of identifying the things you're selecting is simply to hover the mouse over the area and just wait until a message pops up to tell you where you are. So at the moment it's plot area. If I move a little bit further away we get to the chart area. If I move back into the pie itself we get the series selection and if I move over to the legend that brings up the legend label to tell me that if I click I will select the legend box. So when you're formatting your chart make sure you do select the right thing so you format the right area and that's something we'll come back to later. Now at the moment what I'd like to do is select my pie again so I'll just click on any one of the categories and you can tell because the little markers appear around the edge and cover every slice. If I want to highlight one particular slice I just click again 
on the specific one I want to work with. In this case, it's the Citizen Kane slice. I can click and drag, and I can move that away from all the others to make sure that's really highlighted. And that, of course, is what normally is referred to as an exploded pie chart. In other words, the pieces aren't together, they're separated in some way. Now, if I want to modify that, what I can do is I can right click Format Data Point, and you see here in Point Explosion, I've got separate and together on the line. I can click to the right and it'll move the slice further away and I can click on the together side and it brings it back. At the moment it's 11% if I want to be very precise I could simply highlight that number type in 10 and now it's 10% away. But one more thing I might just modify that a little bit just to indicate you can format a slice independently. Let's go to the fill section comes the gradient fill and I'll choose not that, let me choose a preset. I will choose this gold preset and close that down just to make that stand out a little bit more. The next thing I'd like to do is add some data labels to my slices to make sure that people know what the uh, each individual slice means in terms of value. So at the moment I've got that one slice selected and to reselect all the slices I click away, click back on the pie and that reselects everything. I can then right click choose add data labels. Now you notice when that happened the pie itself shrunk down in size. That's one of the curious things that Excel does. One thing to watch out for when you're formatting that you may need to reformat the pie when you add labels. Now what I'm going to do here is change the labels from numbers to percentage values. So I just click on the actual values, right click, go to format data labels on that shortcut menu and you can see here in the options I've got series name, category name, value. I'm going to take the tick out of value, put a tick into percentage. I'll show you what the leader lines do. I'm going to get rid of those in a minute, but just for now I'll show you how they work. So I'll close that down. Now if I click on any one of those values and drag it outside the pie, you'll see a line points to the slice to indicate which one it refers to. And that's what is called a leader line. And if you want to get rid of it, just click on it and press delete. And I can drag that value back into the chart. Now I'm going to add a bit of formatting to my chart area, so all I need to do is make sure that that is what I'll be clicking on. Just click now, right click, format chart area at the bottom of the menu there. And in the format chart area dialog, I will go to picture or texture fill. And here I'm going to choose a texture and I'm going to select this canvas option. Close that down. I'm not choosing it because it looks good, it's just to illustrate some of the things you can do by the way, in case you wondered. And likewise I could maybe select the legend and right click, choose format legend, go to fill, choose a solid fill colour for that, and maybe just have a, a light green, click close, so that legend box stands out a little bit more. Now I might decide I don't want the legend box anymore, so I can click on that and press the delete button. But then I've got a small problem that people don't know what these values refer to. So I need to make some modifications here. So I'm going to click on my data labels, just right click, go to format data labels. And here I need to add category name just to make it stand out a bit more. Let's close that down so you can see. And uh, you can see now I have the film titles as well as the percentages. But I'm going to do a bit more formatting, so I'll right click there. Just increase the font size to something decent, 16 will do. I'm also going to change the font colour, make it white, and then just click away and you'll see that stands out a little bit more. I've also got a bit more room in the chart area now, so I'm going to resize the whole pie. So I need to select the plot area, and then I have the resizing handles. I can then click and drag towards the edge of the chart. Click again at the bottom left there and drag to the bottom left. Click away and you see the pie is a bit bigger. I'm just going to move that label to one side. I can then also just click on the labels again and just move those a bit further towards the center of each slice. Just to make it even more clear whereabouts they're supposed to be, if anybody was in any doubt. And one last piece of formatting I can do, again, just click back onto those labels, right click, go to format. 
I'm going to go to the shadow options here and go to presets and in the outer section just choose the offset diagonal bottom left just close that down and you'll see those labels do stand out much more now and finally I'm just going to modify my chart title so just click on that I'm just going to click at the beginning of the word rentals add in there Fred's video classics press enter just press the end key to jump to the end delete the S and just add the word data at the end there I'm also going to select that text and just make it a little bit bigger and add a background color on just to make it stand out a bit that light blue will do for now pop that in the top right corner just click away and there is the completed pie chart that'll do for now so there we are I hope that helps you with the creation of your pie charts thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time